we try to be um, open to what the community's needs are, but we know that we're, we're hindered somewhat by how we can respond. Uh, one of the best ways that we've done so far is um, having classes outdoors. You know, we've had Pilates, we've had yoga, uh, we've had step classes, we've had body rock and tone, so we've been able to get some people outdoors that, um, that have enjoyed that, and uh, we're, we're really thankful for that. We're in um, continued talks with the hospital about how we can better serve the community, especially our health care community, those people that um, need health care or child care for their children at this time. So we're hoping to work something out like that um, in the next few days and, um, and provide, again, child care for our first responders, um, fire, um, police, those working grocery stores, pharmaceuticals, um, our health care, of course, and uh, we hope to be able to start that up Wednesday or Thursday this week. Membership is huge for us, and um, we care for our members, and, and we're blessed that, that this community cares for this YMCA. We feel like we're an integral part of, of this community, and uh, we all need to pull together through times like this. And uh, this is when we need you the most. We need your membership dollars. And even though our doors aren't open, we need you to be a part of um, this uh, together with us as we continue to serve. Uh, we need these, these dollars to help um, continue to pay the, pot, the power bill. We're, we still have um, um, expenses that, that come along with keeping this um, great building open. Uh, I've been a part of four different YMCAs and, and went to YMCA for 32 plus years and this is by far the best one I've been a part of, partly because of this community. And uh, we're blessed indeed, but we need you to continue to, to be a partner with us through this um, challenging times. Just like other times, like Hurricane Ivan, when it came through, the Y was a critical um, component in making, uh, helping everybody get through these times, and we're asking you to help us now. However, we understand that um, if you do need a, a, a cancellation on your membership, we'll certainly um, honor that as well. We're following the CDC guidelines in regards to um, all health care issues and uh, our staff have really pitched in here lately to um, come in while we're closed. We're still here. We're still here working for you and we're trying to, to get this place as speak as fan as we can and so we can reopen immediately after um, we get to um, say so. And we still know there's a lot of unanswered questions out there but um, in regards to say youth sports, uh, people have called and asked um, what are we going to do? Are we going to resume? We just don't know at this time. We wish we did. Um, and if and when we do, um, it'll maybe a, a short season, but we haven't gotten that far yet. Um, but we also, just like our membership dollars, we hope that if, if we don't resume or we're not able to resume uh, for whatever reason, we hope that you may con uh, consider that um, registration fee as a tax deductible gift to your YMCA. We're a 501c3 here in the state of Alabama, and you can certainly um, use it um, for that if you'd like. Um, we hope to be able to continue, but we just can't say at this point. Um, if you have any questions or need to cancel or anything like that, we certainly, um, our, our business hours right now are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We have somebody manning the phones. If by chance you get our answer machine, be patient. Someone will get back with you soon. Well, it is an ever-evolving situation, and, um, you know, it's been said over and over again, these are just unprecedented times. But uh, we're trying to keep people up to date on our programs and, and where we stand and any issues that may be up um, that, that you may not be aware of um, via our Facebook page or our web page. We invite you to see those um, anytime you like. In addition, um, again, our office hours here daily are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.